we have to add new service for adding value to our customers and create a, an excellent user experience for them. Welcome back to the Bankers Masterclass series in association with Casha Bank, looking at digital transformation in banking. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy Editor at The Banker, and I'm here with Pera Nebot, Chief Information Officer at Casha Bank. In this chapter, we'll take a deep dive into big data and how data analytics is being used to change the customer experience. Pera, thanks so much for joining us today. Nice to meet you. So can you tell me a little bit about how banks should really be able to tap into the power of big data? Oh yes, um, in fact the banks, because of our activity, we have a lot of data of our customers available. Uh, till now, there was some kind of that data that we were not able to deal with. I mean data uh, as the phone calls that the customers do through our call centers, uh, some comments that they do through the online banking, even the letters that they write us, and they say a lot of things about us. Um, so we have a lot of data uh, of our customers, both a structure and an instructor. Now the technology has reached a maturity level that we can take advantage of all that data and we can incorporate all that information and get insight and add value to our, our company and the, for the customers also. We can incorporate that data for creating new products to our customer, target to their needs, uh, adding value and different services or targeting and personalizing for them and also to increase data in our risk models in order to um, better performance in the risk portfolio. So as you can see with, with the level that has reached now the technology we can incorporate all that information, in, information into our company. From but how does it really add value to the bank? Nowadays, we, we have more than 100 uh, projects in, in, in progress. And we can distinguish between three different topics. So the first of all is um, commercial activities. So we can target better the campaigns. We can do the right proposal to the right customer at the right time. So mm, that's, at the end, a better service for our customer. Another big group is uh, monitoring, because we have a comprehensive and, and total understanding that what is happening into our systems, so we can detect and fix any problem that can be uh, happening in, in at, at any time. And another important thing is the security also. We can uh, detect any suspicious activity any different uh, unusual behavior of our customers on their online activity or even in their credit cards, dealing with the ATMs, all that. So at the end, we can protect our customers better and serve and protect uh, their money. This is another group of projects also that is about regulation. So the banks, uh, we are, uh, we are suffering increase on, on the regulation demands so with the big data capacities we can increase our data quality, uh, we can uh, perform our reporting activities uh, at better cost in an efficient way so at the end we can serve better our regulator. Okay um, and you know obviously big data gives you huge insights into your customers. How do you think customer behavior has been changing over the past few years? Mm. At the end of the day, the customers are dealing with technology um, during all the day uh, through their private activities. So they have new technologies on the, on, the, on the car. They have a computer on their car. They, have, they deal with new technologies uh, even in with their, their alarms. They have new technologies on the, on the television. You are connecting to your television and you, you have a lot of different functionalities that that uh, much better that that you you had in the past, and look at your smartphone. It's plenty of apps, so the customers deal with the technology on their private lives. So, the banks we have to 
incorporate all that new technologies into our services. So nowadays, adding new technology to the banking offer is not a desire, it's now a must. Okay, um, and then in terms of the whole digitization project, um, which I know Kasha Bank has been actually in the forefront of digitizing its processes and things like that. Um, how does that really help bank employees service their customers? Okay, so today 7% uh, of the transactions are done through the branches. The rest of them are done through electronic channels. So that leads us to increase our digital effort in two main ways. The first of all is improving our digital channels. So we have to add new service for adding value to our customers and create a, an excellent user experience for them. That's one thing. On the other hand, we have to incorporate all that innovation, all of that user experience into the branch channel also. That's why we have created a new model of branch when we have incorporate all that innovation to create a better uh, experience for the customers. This new model of branch uh, has been designed uh, together with different customers and ourselves, creating proposals, making trials with them, and at the end we have created a new design that uh, helps to increase that relationship between the employee and their personal advisor and the customer. So that's another important thing that we have done to, to serve our customers better. Not only that, uh, because we have uh, deployed a full mobility set to our employees, now they have the ability to perform their banking activity not only at the branches, also at the customer's home. We have deployed more than 25,000 smartphones and 22,000 smart PCs and plenty of different applications where the employee can share the screen with the customer and can see what's the customer's product portfolio. They can interact with different simulators and finally they can do a better proposal for the, for the customer. That smart PC is a laptop that can be converted into a tablet or a tablet that can be converted into, into a laptop. So at the end, we have uh, increased from more than 5,000 branches up to more than 30,000 uh, points of service. So there's a lot of new technologies out there, such as digital signatures. How does that really improve the customer experience? Nowadays, the customers are demanding from us the financial institution better services. And when I mean better services, it's really, really, really better, cheaper, faster, and target to their needs. That's why in CaixaBank we have developed the digital signature. Taking advantage of the biometric capacities of the smart PC, you can sign digitally not only the single operations, but also all the contracts. Today, more than 1.8 million of contracts are signed, signed digitally every month in CaixaBank. With that, the customer and the employee can perform a really paperless user experience and having all the contracts on the online account of the customer. And you know the best thing? The customers really feel that totally natural. Excellent. Thank you so much, Farah. A pleasure.